How to change card icon on Shopify. What's up guys, my name is Krause and in today's Shopify tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change and update this card icon right here. Now, as you can see, I actually already did this on one of my other stores and basically by doing so, I've updated my card icon. Obviously, you can also use an other card icon. You can also use, for example, an image of your face and so on. So I'm going to show you how to set up everything needed in today's tutorial. So to get started, simply just log in onto your Shopify dashboard. If you don't already have a Shopify store, you can always use the link down below to get yourself a free trial. And once you are on the dashboard, navigate to the online store settings right here on the left and then click on themes. Right here, you're then going to see the actual theme that you're currently using. Now, as we are going to do this in this video, I'm simply just going to go for the Dawn theme right now, as this is going to be the most common theme. However, no worries guys, if you're going to use another theme, this is also going to work exactly the same. Just make sure to follow what I do, and this is going to work nonetheless. So to get started, I would actually encourage you to first of all duplicate your theme right here so that if you do make any mistakes along the way, it basically isn't going to lose you all of the different settings and so on. Trust me, I've been there. It's basically quite annoying. So just make sure to duplicate this right here to actually save up, basically to save a backup of your store. Now, once you've did so, make sure to click on the three dots and then click on edit code. Now, no worries guys, this isn't going to be complicated. You will just have to follow what I do. So first of all, I'm simply just going to close these tabs right here on the left. And then under assets, basically we do have our files that we need. So actually let's just, uh, let's just filter for these. I'm just going to put in card right here. And then as you can see, this is going to be correctly filtered. And then right here on the snippets, actually, we then do have our icon card empty.liquid file as well as our icon minus card.liquid file. Now, as for this tutorial, we actually do need to update both of these files so that both when the card is empty, but as well when some products are in the card, there is actually going to show up our own custom image or our own custom icon, essentially. So to get started, you will simply just have to delete both of these uh, basically lines of lines of codes okay and then we actually do need to look for an image that we can use for our store now i'm just going to look for free icons right here there are a lot of different websites that i would actually but basically that are pretty good like for example this flaticon.com website i can just look for let's just look for a card right here and as you can see, I'm then going to have the option to basically get all of these card icons for completely free. However, there is actually one downside to this. As you can see, if I'm going to click on here, I basically only can download the PNG file. However, as for this tutorial, we are going to need to actually get an SVG because otherwise we can't upload our file onto Shopify. Shopify only allows SVG files. However, no worries, I will also show you a way of actually bypassing this. So let's for example say that you want to use this card icon right here. Once again, you can also use another image. Uh, it, the setup is going to be exactly the same. So if you do have an image that isn't an SVG file, you will simply just have to download it as a PNG right here and make sure to actually select the highest uh, resolution possible. In this case, this would be 512 pixel. So just select that and then you can download it for completely free. Then you will have to head over to a website called PNG to SVG. I guess I will also leave you this in the description down below and then right here you will simply have to upload your PNG file and then this automatically is going to basically convert that PNG file onto an SVG file which you can then use for your Shopify store. After you've converted your file, you will have to head over to another website called editsvgcode.com. Once again, I will also leave you this in the description down below so that you can do this tutorial more easily. And by the way, I currently give out my Shopify course for completely free. So if you do want to supercharge your Shopify journey, make sure to click on the link down below to get started. So as you can see right here on this online basically edit SVG code.com website, we do have this code. Now we don't want to change this, rather just click on upload right here and then you will have to basically upload your card icon. So in this case, I'm just going to use this uh, 
basically a SVG card icon. However, you can also use your converted card icon. Basically, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure to pick one of the two, then click on open. And as you can see, now this is going to be correctly updated. And now we can actually copy this whole code right here. Make sure to copy all of it. You can also cut it. And then we will have to head back to our Shopify dashboard. And now we do have these two files right here. I can card minus empty dot liquid and I can card dot liquid. So to actually do this, just make sure to click on paste right here and paste this in onto this. Then also click on paste right here. And we are now going to save this. We're also going to save the other file. And if we're now going to opt out of this, this should actually show up. However, we aren't done yet. As you can see, if I'm now going to visit my online store, this is going to show up. However, I don't really like the size of it. I think it is actually quite too big. So to actually change the size of the card icon, make sure to head back to your online store. And then once again, click on edit code. And right here under the icon card minus empty dot liquid file, as well as the icon card dot liquid file, you can then change the width of your actual card icon. So if we do want to make this smaller, we can actually put in 400 pixels right here. So we're just going to save this. Then I'm going to repeat this process for this one right here. Zack, zack. And then if we're now going to preview this, this is now actually correctly updated. And now we do have a smaller card icon size on our Shopify store. We all know that starting a successful Shopify store can be super hard. That's why I'm right now giving out my Shopify course for completely free. Now you're going to learn everything needed to actually streamline your Shopify success in that exact course. So make sure to click on the link down below to get started.